Hello, good um, morning or good afternoon, good evening. Uh, thank you for having me here. I am uh, representing EMEA today. So I come as a current president of the International Medical Informatics Association. And when John Holmes asked me if I could uh, talk a little bit about the, um, I think the question was collaboration between uh, EMEA and 4CE. So I, I had some difficulties uh, understanding what he what he wanted exactly because I think uh, you all are EMEA actually that's um, what you are the I hope the members through your different associations um, and let me just share a few slides so this will not be a scientific presentation even if you're in my uh, real life, I'm a professor of health informatics in Stockholm at Karolinska Institute. So I will just give you a little bit of the, the EMEA perspective on uh, the work of, of 4CE and where I see that perhaps I uh, reflected a little bit what EMEA could do for you, I hope, and the other way around even more. So uh, EMEA's vision is as an uh, association of associations, of course, to grow the biomedical and health informatics community and to support uh, academics in getting collaborations. And in the end, to by what we all do in our daily work to improve health for all, right? And um, EMEA operates all around the world. We have uh, representation in several regions. Then, as I said, EMEA is an association of associations. So we don't have individual members. Our members are member societies such as EMEA in the US or um, other country-wise uh, medical informatics societies. And we also have academic members, different universities and uh, some cooperative members from industry. And then we have um, a strong relationship to WHO and IFIP, um, and especially WHO, we have increased collaboration as an uh, NGO in the latest years. So we have right now 57 member societies, 30 academic or institutional members and two corporate members and some corresponding and affiliate members as well. Um, our strategic goals are advocacy of, of the field to um, heighten the, the recognition of biomedical and health informatics um, professionals around the world. So we always operate across geographical borders. And this was actually also one thing that um, at, was attracted for C for us. Uh, we want to increase collaboration between our members and across um, country borders and even collaboration with other associations. Um, of course, we look at to increase our membership as many associations do and we want to be the worldwide academic um, professional association that our field is uh, connected to. And some of the activities that we did in, in the last year was that we organized a um, so-called civil society organization dialogue between EMEA and the director general of the WHO about what happened in digital health during COVID-19, how does it affect, and we have um, published the results from these discussions um, also in a EMEA yearbook paper. And then our main activities, and that's also why I, I said to John, but you are EMEA, because that happens in our working groups and special interest groups, where I feel uh, several of those are actually 
relevant for 4C, uh, especially probably the data mining and big data analytics working group, where I think and hope that many of you are active. The uh, working groups have uh, collated a white paper this year, right um, during an COVID in order to, yeah, to specify what are the areas, COVID related areas that the different working groups um, work on and can contribute with. Um, we have also several of our EMEA working groups are involved with collaborative work with WHO, different task force on, on AI, ethics, um, telehealth, and most of these activities result in literature reviews that are um, yeah, on, on behalf of WHO or on providing uh, input and commenting different WHO reports before they are finalized. Um, now the relationship between 4CE and EMEA, as I see it, so EMEA operates more on a policy level, so we can provide contacts and connections. So 4CE could expect from EMEA that we, because we're always excited about initiatives that share knowledge openly as you do and broadly within our community, but also beyond and across uh, geographical borders. So we, of course, like to support initiatives like this by providing contacts and connections. But we also see that um, 4CE can, of course, do a lot of things for EMEA as being an active group. You could operate through the working group set up perhaps a special topic conference where EMEA could provide you the platform for that help with administration. And I know that several of you are also part of EMEA's so-called slate of experts, our academy, ERC. Um, some of you are academy fellows. And our next step will be that John Holmes and Ricardo Bellazzi will present for CE for the EMEA General Assembly on the upcoming Sunday. And I'm very much looking forward to that because I think it's great if I can provide our General Assembly members some scientific uh, discussions apart from all the necessary administrative stuff. And that was what I shortly reflected upon and wanted to share with you. Thank you.